Welcome. And so now I'm an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and today I will show you how to hard reset the device through recovery mode. So before we get started, there is one thing that we will need, which is the cable that I use for charging. Plug it into your computer, and uh, if you don't have iTunes and you're using Windows, you will need to download it. If you're using an Apple computer, then you don't need to do anything. It's already pre-installed on the device. And uh, yeah, so proceed by just plugging it in the device. And it should show up in iTunes, as you can see in the corner right here. And from here, we'll need to put the device into the recovery mode. So to do that, Grab the device and you want to press and release volume up, then press and release volume down and hold power key. So, like this. And keep holding the power for the entire time. You can see that it has shut off right now. It's gonna pop up with the Apple logo as it has done right now. And the next thing we should see is the icon of like a laptop with a cable plugged in, which is this thing, there we go. So once you see this, you can let go of the key and just set the device on the side. The rest of the process will be done fully on the computer. So you can just close this, doesn't really matter. And in recovery mode, there's basically the only option you have right here. There's the eject iPhone, which will I believe actually put it out of the recovery mode. I have the update option and restore option. Now I'm not gonna go into the update. You can um, basically just update the device um, and restore will do basically the exact same thing uh, without removing, I mean update basically updates without removing the data while restore basically updates it with removing all the data. Um, there is no way of for instance, hard resetting the device without updating it to the newest version. You're basically, Apple forces you to do it uh, if you want it or not, which is uh, not very nice. Um, but yeah, proceeding on, once you tap on the restore iPhone, it will start processing it. And uh, for me, it's just gonna start unpacking, I believe. Uh, so once I tap on restore and update, yeah, extracting software. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it will actually start downloading it and you will see a little icon somewhere right here, I believe. Um, basically the progress of the download of iOS and it's about 4.3 gigabytes. So once it's done, it's gonna proceed to extracting it and continuing what basically I am doing right now. But basically it's gonna extract it, then start installing it and just do all that. And once it's finished, we should be then greeted with the uh, setup screen of of the iPhone and on the iTunes side, you should see just set up as a new option and get started. So I'll be back once that is actually visible. And as you can see, the process is almost finished. So on the iTunes, you have option to either restore it from a backup, which you can choose from the drop-down list, or you can just set it up as new. So we're gonna go with that one. And so I wanted to perform a hard reset. 
and then just tap on continue and get started and iPhone still finishing up basically whatever it's doing right there but in about a, just a brief moment it should be done and uh, you should be able to already start like uploading photos if you want to music to the device straight away before this process is finished but yeah, let's wait till it's actually completely finished And you can see now the process is fully finished. So you can unplug the phone and you can set it up. And now the process is now fully finished. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.